Okay. Okay, welcome to a new set of videos I'm going to do. I'm going to do a series where I make a whole track from scratch. Um, yeah, I hope it's helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any questions about how to do anything, I'll be really happy to help. Yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get on with it. So I thought we'd start off with um, something. <laughs> and I found this little bit of guitar that I recorded. Um, so I thought we'd use this. I have done a little bit of warping in it because my playing was a little bit loose. I don't think I recorded it with a click. So it sounds like this. I might even correct that a little bit a bit. Sometimes it's nice not to lose too much of the timing, but I think it's better here if I clean it up. Yeah, so I'll keep a little bit of um, un in timeness. <laughs> If everything's always on the grid, I think you lose something, you know. If, um, so let's put some effects on that. Let's put a bit of delay on that. Um, let's uh, try. I'm going to actually turn the re-pitch off. Maybe to have it a little bit off so it's kind of doing something. Pretty nice, so I'd say. Let's have a bit of reverb on that. Let's have a bit of little plate by Sound Toys. One of my favourites. Mentioned by Woot on the live stream the other day. Big up Woot. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, please tell me and I'll try and pronounce it better. Now that's for me logical to have the reverb after the delay, but let's just see what it sounds like before. Hmm. I can't hear much difference. Yeah, let's get a bit of movement in there. Let's get a trusty auto filter. Well, let's try not. Oh, what about this morphing filter? That'd be quite interesting. Let's give it a bit of LFO and a bit of. We let's try a max for live LFO on that and see if that sounds good. Um, yeah, well let's just because we're modulating the f the cutoff, but let's try and modulate the morph. Maybe slow that down. Maybe they have it on. Four bars. That's eight, oh, 32 bars. Wow, that's cool. Don't really slow. Oh, I like that. Let's try eight bars.
I like that, but I'm missing the bass note on the thing. We could try triangle work. That sounds better at four bars. Quite pretty too. I think I prefer the triangle. I'm quite tempted just to copy that control D and have just a kind of excuse me. Um, have like a low pass filter version. And then have that one kind of giving some high pass action. Yeah, let's um, let's have that one f without the delay. Maybe but even without the reverb. Maybe with a bit. Let's have that with a shorter reverb. Let's add another element. I fancy a bit of piano. Which piano shall I use? Let's use contact. And a few nice pianos in complete. What's your favorite soft piano or software piano? I'd really, if I had more money, I would buy the um, Keyscape but these are pretty good. Out of the, I'd be interested to know what you think, which are the, what do you think of the different ones here? I'm never quite sure what the difference is. Well, obviously there's a difference, but. Sure, that's fine. Now I'm hearing that with a lot of reverb. Let's have a little plate. It's a bit much. Now, obviously my guitar is a little bit out of tune. to come up a little bit. Sounds really bad, sounds like that's out of tune. So, I think that just wants to be Sounds all right. My plus thirty five cents. I'm just hearing something very simple going with this. Oh, 
Will that have recorded it? No. Love that feature in the feature in Ableton 10. The amount of times you just play something and it's like, oh, that sounds good, and then you can't work out what you played. Whoops, that's changed the tempo. So let's. No, I want that just to be on the fours. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. And probably loads of delay, isn't it? Um, probably want the velocity a bit higher as well. Totally in love with that piano sound, but maybe it'll grow on me. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to try this because it's kind of at half time. So I'm going to try it at 140. Let's duplicate that and change the last bar. Dun 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 We'll leave that for now. I might change that. Let's get some drums in. So I'm thinking about some kind of half timey step steppy beaty breaky big and bouncy <laughs> kind of beat let's put in a few sounds normally i would use the old push but i've got my keyboard in front of me so let's use it Do some step sequencing in Ableton. Hold the note. Make sure it's clicked in the thing like that. Oh, lovely. And it goes in at the velocity you put it in. So hold it quietly. Look, quiet. Snazzy, huh? I do want it a bit louder than that. So let's just have that on the four. Oh, no, just on the one and two. One and three. I'm just wondering about finding some rhythm from something else. Maybe, um, um, percussion. No. Ah, that doesn't include thingamabobs, but I've got the thingamabobs here. Afro-Latin. Maybe that without the Let's use the new EQ from 10.1, channel EQ, good for some basic stuff. What 
But if we make that a weird time. Oh, I like that. There's something going on there, isn't it? It's hard to tell what. I can hear a banging. I wasn't really liking that last note. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. What's the one of the last one? for that to be let's undo all that and redo undo sounds like let's put some uh delay on that sound let's break out let's break out an echo boy haven't really got into using this i do i love delays and i use a lot of delay but um i think it's the gui i don't quite click with but i should make myself do it because it's meant to be very good i'm sure it's good i mean it is good um style tour Let's try the other new thing in 10.1, the imaginatively named delay, which is cool because it's basically the tape delay plus the simple delay, but it's not the tape delay, the ping pong delay is my favourite. It's probably the plugin I've used most in my life apart from auto filter. <laughs> something on the three just so we know where we are that
Whoops. Let's turn off the piano for now. All right, we'll work on that beat a bit more. Let's put a bass line in so we kind of feel like we know something's happening. Okay, I can't avoid Root Pro 1 right now whenever I want to put in some bass. Because the bass presets are just awesome. It's a very loud. I need to always turn it down. I mean, hope you can hear that on your speakers. But there's proper problem, and I tend to always use this. Test out your bass bins. Great, it was perfect. <laughs> okay, let's quantize that. Oops. The length of bass notes is really important. You probably know that, but um, yeah, just how, how long they are really affects the rhythm hugely. I'm sure you know that if you're, especially if you're a bass player. Going for something a bit dubby, let me tell. Not sure. Great, my trackpad batteries are low. So for now, let's put a kick drum in. It's crying out for a kick drum. I just had option anxiety really before. Uh, I think sometimes you just gotta chuck something and not worry about it too much. Oh, drum tools too. These are good. I mean, they're all good. That's a drum roll. Fat and punchy. That's too much though, isn't it? For this tune. A C. Let's see.
cool. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Um, let's add a bit more interest to the drums. Let's... Where's the snare? Uh, yeah. I mean, also, what I will want to do is um, add some reverb to these drums. Um, I normally have a short one and a long one, and uh, also pan a little bit. I might add one more hat, just maybe on the two. See, this is quite a nice way of building up a pattern. I recommend this because um, sometimes what's hard when you're making a tune is if you have like a, a four bar loop or something and you just kind of get a bit, it gets, sounds all the same and then you kind of don't know where to take it sometimes. But if you just change the last bar, do a little bit of variation, then, you know, duplicate a loop, make 16 bar chunks or even 32 bar chunks. So when you came, come to sequence it, a lot of the work is done already and it keeps the interest, which makes it easier to finish the tune. So that's a top tip for me. So I even want to... I want to... I want to... I just want to go da 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 da. One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, but I want to get rid of that as well. Don't want too much going on. Um, what else did I want to do? Oh, yeah, so I like that piano, but I actually wanted some chords to offset the main melody. So I thought about doing a different pattern. So So the key is F sharp. There's my my weak piano the music theory is made clear for all to see. Actually I think that's one of the cool things about music production, you don't necessarily have to be trained classically. You can do it just by figuring stuff out. So that's, I mean, I do know a little bit. That's like F, um, F sharp major. I could try a different inversion if I wanted to get fancy. That bass is actually huge. Let's turn it down a bit. Sounds like it wants to be major. Oh, 
That's quite pretty. Let's put record that. Oh, that was a bum note. Should have known, just play the black keys. that unquantized yeah like a lot of some of my favorite bands are things like Crosby Stills and Nash and Neil Young and you can listen to it over and over again I think one reason is because it's not fully quantized yeah I mean a lot of people go on about this stuff I'm not <laughs> original to talk about it uh, I wanted to put some chords in let's try again okay It. Was it recording it? Maybe. Nah, doesn't always always work. You can record and rewind the video and see, but I I'm, I'm, can't do that. Okay. trying to record something. Let's do that. Duplicate that whole thing. And um, let's just have the chords on that and let's have a different delay or no delay on that. I didn't realise I recorded into there. a bit it's all right let's try a different piano and I was gonna probably put some effects on it um, let's try the giant Let's have a spring reverb on. The best spring reverb I've got, well, like a W thing, is. Um, how we do have time? Whoops. What am I doing? I can't see how long I've been recording. Never mind. Um, 
sorry. Packs. Um, the machines. Magnetic. Uh, I'll just use the. So this is a uh, Roland 201 Space Echo recreation made for Max Fuller. That's pretty nice, huh? In fact, I'm going to put that on the send. Only thing is, the noise gets on my nose a bit. I'm sure it's probably good to have a bit. Kind of drives me a bit nuts. Um, let's have that and mix would be a hundred percent because it's on the send. And then let's have what is that deleting back so much? like how that so that's got a spring reverb in it you might know that um so part of that sound is this reverb dub spring dub um so what i want to do is just have the spring reverb and then add that to the drums and that contact so uh, that piano i'm going for a bit of a dubby sound you may have probably noticed that by now um so just to choose just the reverb and then that should if I do mix So I wanted that on the piano. And I wanted I want the piano just to be grungier. So let's my favorite grunge distortion plug at the moment is this bite from Native Instruments. I oh know that's the bit crush, that's the posh bit crush, which I love as well. Try a preset, there's tons of presets, synth and keys. It's quite s subtle, isn't it? Sound the right thing. Yeah, it's just subtle. All right, I'm going to have to bring it to a close. Hiya. Cool. Okay, so I'll come.